Hello. What's that sound? Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. I did it. So, hello everyone. Tomorrow, it's gonna be my last day of quarantine. <laughs> so, how to start it? The topic of today, it's gonna be the pro and contra about um, my experience here in the quarantine. The, the negative about my place here in quarantine, it's the lightning. There's no sunlight coming in. Midnight. No, I'm kidding. It's 10 a.m. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Period. I'm out. So I always have to turn on the lights and I really need, I mean, everyone needs sunlight. So this is what I really realized that it's made me a little bit in prison vibes, you know? And um, this is really the thing that I really didn't like it. So really be careful when you're choosing your quarantine room. Ask your landlord if there's bright sun coming in. I mean, if it's for you important to have bright sun, then ask them because that wasn't really in this description. I mean, if you don't care about it, then it's fine. I mean, I'm not dying for it. It's just for two weeks. So the second negative about this place is the insect yeah insect like mosquitoes yeah i've been bitten like several times here i don't know if you can see it here even in the nose <laughs> please the most annoying is not the biting it's like the sound like zzz. <sighs> the first night when i discovered there was a mosquitoes i was like You know, go away. And they just come in my face. So I just turn the light and wait until where I can find this, you know, and then I just. Sorry. The next day I go again to sleep. And what I hear again, this mosquitoes, another one. Like, zzz, I'm like, oh, hell no. It was 3 a.m. I wake up, turn it on the lights and wait until I found this. And then again, the second time, you know. <laughs> but then I go back to sleep. And I have the feeling I hear. I think I just got paranoid. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Let's now talk about the good stuff. It's my Lancelot. She is so nice. She's been so helpful for me during the quarantine because I realized I've been not be been very well prepared. I thought I was very well prepared, but I was not. So before coming in Korea, 
be aware to have a phone number like to have already a sim card to maybe pick it up in the Incheon airport something like that or to have a friend who can lend you a phone number without a phone number you cannot do many stuff you know and my landlord was so nice she literally gave me her phone she really gave me her phone what also was very nice is she gives me a lot of gifts she she put it in front of my door and then text me like yeah put i give you something like uh, flowers she started with flowers and then she gave me something to eat and then some cookies and some cakes she's been so nice to me so thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and to comment if there's any questions and also if there are some topics that you are curious just uh, let me know so i could do a next video about this topic so yeah love you and i wish you all a beautiful day Bye.